don't even rhyme. <laughs> Deep inside, I used to be racist. Do one more. The creation of Fortnite versus the Baton Death March. I don't know what that is. So why don't you tell us real quick what the Baton Death March is? So apparently there was this relay race where they had to pass this baton and all the people involved in the race died. I don't know. Again, with the fucking Japanese. The Baton Death March was the forcible transfer transfer by the Imperial Japanese Army of between 60 and 80,000 American Filipino prisoners of war from Seisane Point. Okay, so they gathered up all their prisoners and marched them. Oh. <laughs> was, that, was that a sad all? I don't know. They should have called it the Trail of Tears. <laughs> Trail of Tears 2. <laughs> that would have been, that would have, depending on what year this happened, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should start naming tragedies. The, like two, like oh, just every, every tragedy should just have a number. <laughs> okay, the transfer began on April 9th, nineteen forty-two. Don't forget that date, nineteen forty-two. All right, Trail of Tears. <laughs> uh, it happened in eighteen fifty. Sweet. So this was the Trail of Tears too. Except this is white people that were involved. So this is the White Trail of Tears. Yeah, which is worse. Trail, trail of White Tears. Yeah, Trail of White Tears. Okay, so this is, they were ordered to turn over their possessions. American Lieutenant Kermit Lay recounted how this was done. They pulled us off into a rice paddy and began shaking us down. <laughs> there were about a hundred of us, so it took time to get all of us. Everyone had pulled their pockets wrong side out and laid all their things out in front. They were taking jewelry and doing a lot of slapping. I laid out my <laughs> New Testament. That's so awesome. <laughs> I laid out my New Testament. After the shakedown, the Japs took an officer and two enlisted men behind a rice shack and shot them. The men who had been next to them said they had Japanese souvenirs and money. Word quickly spread among the prisoners to conceal or destroy any Japanese money or mementos as their captors would assume it had been stolen from dead Japanese soldiers. I this is just war. Like, I don't even, yeah, I don't I understand don't, what the big deal is. Right. When do the white people start crying? <laughs> I'm confused. This, however, was quickly followed by unrelenting brutality, theft, and even knocking men's teeth out for gold fillings, as the common Japanese soldier had also suffered in the battle and had nothing but disgust and hatred for his captives. Duh. That's how war works. Okay. So, I understand the rules of conduct and uh, what's what's the Geneva Convention? Yeah. But it's stupid. Like, we don't follow it. So I don't understand why we expect other people to follow it. Because we're stronger than they are. When you're stronger than somebody, you get to decide what rules get followed and which ones don't. <laughs> That's how it works. Like, Do you think that everything should be available at your disposal in war? Yes. Now, I, I'm asking real Anthony, not shtick Anthony. Like, do you think yes. torture? Yes. It, in... War, right? Yes, I do. Because if you go to war with a country, what you're doing is you're taking all the poor people from my country, fighting against all the poor people from your country, right? And oh, and I guess when you put it like that, you don't really care what happens to them, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's not like it's not like rich people are fighting anybody that matters. It's ah, you scuffed my loafers, <laughs> right? <laughs> when you so when you go to battle with so like if you're going to duel somebody or whatever, like, okay, there's rules to this duel or whatever. But when you're at war and the consequences of this war are, if I win this war, now your country is my country. Like I, I, I own your country now. Like who or no worse than that, or, or a different way to look at it is if I lose this war, I lose my country. I lose my house. I lose yes. my family, everything. Yes. And I'm going to do everything within my power to stop that from happening. Yes. Except put a rag over your mouth and pour water <laughs> on your face. But see, I, I feel differently about that because it seems different to me. Like 
okay, we're not on the battlefield. We just picked up a couple of guys and brought them to this place where these other guys that are also aren't on the battlefield are going to torture them for information. Like that doesn't seem like a, I mean, it's obviously war, but it doesn't seem like a on the battlefield situation. Right. But had they not been invading my country, they wouldn't have, I wouldn't have had a chance to scoop them up and tie them to a chair and put battery cables to their nipples. Wait, didn't we go there and get them? (laughs) Cut their tits off and dance around with them. (laughs) Didn't we go there and get them? (laughs) Well, if they wouldn't have been at their country, then they wouldn't have. (laughs) Maybe maybe they should sell us their oil cheaper. If if we could just get their oil a little cheaper, if we wouldn't have to kill you. So which is it? Do you think that all things are fair in, in love and war? Or do you think that... As long as you're on the battlefield, anything else, then I'm going to throw a flag. Mm-hmm. As long as you're on the battlefield. If, 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 like, the lower ranks should be able to do whatever, the upper echelon who actually decides that the lower ranks go out, those guys have to follow the rules. <laughs> Does that make sense? No. Okay. You're not answering my question. Uh, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> should you be able to torture? Should you be able to knock the teeth out of prisoners to get the gold out of their teeth? No, that doesn't seem like a war thing. What, how does that advance the goals of your country? I guess if your country needs you gold, have more gold yeah, for the king. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. But then like, why do the people in Geneva get to decide? Why does their convention matter? Like, all the comic book conventions around and these fuckers are get to right the, the comic con convention it's inside the rules of war <laughs> did we even talk about Fortnite? <laughs> okay do you think so i'm trying to understand how i feel about this okay so if you're on the battlefield all yeah. is fair Right. That's what so I if think. You, if you round up 400 prisoners and yeah. shoot them all in the back of the head, right, on the battlefield, yep, you're fine. Yep. Is that but if you is that worse than just bombing them and killing them that way? But if you round up 400 people and take them just outside of the battlefield <laughs> and take their teeth, then that's a war crime. So it depends on who's taking the teeth, the proximity to the battlefield, the tie. Like if you wait till the next day. Yeah, that's bad. If you give them to like a higher up officer, that's bad. But if it's just you, you're like the lowly guy. You're like Rambo and you're out there in the battlefield. I'm going to give you some scenarios. Okay. And I want you to tell me you are the war tribunal. I want you to tell me if it's a fucking war crime. Okay. Okay. So I'm, I'm climbing through the desert. Okay. Okay. I'm in my ghillie suit. Okay. Okay. And I come up on some Charlie. Okay. And I climb up their back all ninja like and I cut off their ears. Yep. And then I start wearing their I don't even kill them. Oh. I cut off their ears and I wear them as a necklace. Is that okay. a war crime? Um what happens to them? Like they just I, I let them I let them go. go. Oh, well no, they're alive still. It's cool. Okay, I stab them in the in the side of the neck. Uh, then I cut off their ears and I wear them as a necklace. Were they confirmed Charlies? Like they were the bad guy. Yeah, sure. You're you took a picture, sent that picture to your boss. Your boss said, yeah, those are the bad guys. You got yes. confirmation that they were bad. Yes. Not a war crime. Okay. Okay. So I'm climbing through the desert. I'm in my ghillie suit. All right. Yep. I see a uh, suspected bad guy, suspected Charlie. <laughs> okay. I send a picture. Yep. Boss confirms. Yep. Uh, that's a go yep. roads uh, <laughs> yep. moving to kill. So I steady climb in, chop, 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 chop. <laughs> creeping. And I hide behind a bush. Uh huh. And he's smoking one of them small foreign cigarettes <laughs> <laughs> with no filter. Right. <laughs> and I cut his fucking hamstring so he falls down to my level because it's uh-huh. easier to make him fall than for me to get up because right. the ghillie suit's heavy. <laughs> right. And I and I fucking stab him right in the side of the neck. Yep. And I cut out his throat and yep. I wear his throat as a necklace. <laughs> All right. And then I see that I have a missed call and it was, uh, sorry, that, that that's not a confirmed Charlie. Do not proceed over. That's what Do it says engage. on the text. Do not engage. <laughs> <laughs> it says, says over. <laughs> um, is, it, is that a war crime? So 
then you couldn't be charged for a war crime. Your boss could be charged for a war crime, but I would recommend that you keep the receipts. <laughs> Take a screenshot. <laughs> Take a screenshot. <laughs> like, look, I, 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 these are the orders that I got. <laughs> and like timestamp everything so that, so that everybody understands the sequence of events that you killed him before you saw that message. And you ha- you better be able to prove that he was dead before you saw that message. Okay. I am in the mountains. Okay. I'm in Afghanistan. Ghillie suit? Mm, not this time. It's hot. Okay. Okay. I took it off to go out in the desert. (laughs) (laughs) I took it off to get some air. Okay. (laughs) Okay. So I'm looking through my sniper scope. Uh huh. And about 700 clicks uh, north, north, south. Okay. I see. (laughs) (laughs) Right. I see a brown man. Okay. Okay. And I call in a drone, Uh and the drone comes in and confirms his identity. Okay. Using facial recognition software. (laughs) Okay. And I, I take the shot from 700 clicks. Okay. And he drops dead. Right. I'm in the I'm in the boundaries of the war zone, but this guy was at his vacation house with his family. <laughs> Clearly <laughs> outside of the, the borders of the war zone. Okay. War crime? He was a confirmed bad guy? <sighs> confirmed bad guy, but he was on vacation from bad guying with oh. his family. Oh, you can't kill people while they're on vacation. So war crime. What, okay, was he in his like bad guy clothes? Or he was, was in a bathing in suit. Va- va- he's in a vacation clothes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. War crime for sure. You can't you you can't kill somebody on vacation while they're not even in their bad guy clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's a bad guy bathing suit? What if on <laughs> across the butt of his bathing suit it says, "I am in fact the bad guy." <laughs> No, he only gets killed when he's doing bad guy stuff in his bad guy suit. (laughs) Okay. Now, I am in a neighborhood, okay? Okay. All right. And I look and I see, I look in the backyard and there's a swimming pool. Okay. So I climb over the fence. I shimmy Uh over the fence (laughs) and I go inside and in the living room of this, it, it appears to be a vacant vacation home. Okay. I see a sniper rifle. And I look 700 clicks south north up into the mountains, and I see the bad guy uh-huh. clearly in the war zone. But I'm out of the war zone. Okay, I'm at it. I'm at oddly enough the bad guy's vacation home, <laughs> looking through the sniper scope into the borders of the bad the bad guy's lair. Right, and he's sitting there clearly doing bad guy stuff at the table. He's surrounded by other people smoking cigars. Doing bad guy things. Doing Got bad it? guy things. Okay. I put on his bathing suit <laughs> and I Why? shoot him right in the Why? fucking head. <laughs> Why? War crime? Uh, are you. <laughs> you put on his bathing suit. Yeah, you don't put on another man's bathing suit. <laughs> That's a war crime by itself. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> I'm going to put on your bathing suit and I'm going to kill you. <laughs> it's like. You don't rape somebody's daughter? <laughs> Jeez, come on, man. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> put on did somebody's you, bathing suit. Did you equate? Uh, yes. Where- <laughs> yes, they're the same. It's literally the same. <laughs> okay. His Gun nuts were head. there. Now your nuts are there. You ruined everything. <laughs> okay. You have to choose. Gun to your head. Yep. You can either find out that three... Very, very well endowed black men <laughs> raped your daughter. Uh-huh. Or <laughs> as you <laughs> as you come out of the hotel room and me and you are getting ready to jump in the pool, uh-huh. I let you know, hey, I just had my nuts in that <laughs> swimsuit net that you're wearing. <laughs> oh God. I have to pick one of those things to happen to me? Yes. I mean, is the one thing really even happening to me? <laughs> I mean, I guess that I guess that answers my question, doesn't it? It's not really happening to me, so I <laughs> in one of them, uh-huh. in one of the scenarios, I am going to be hurt, I'm going to be upset, I'm going to wonder how other people are going to deal with it. Uh-huh. And in the other one, my daughter gets raped. So <laughs> It's a real conundrum. (laughs) (laughs) 
Okay, so creation of Fortnite moves forward then? Yep. <laughs> Absolutely, it does. <laughs> All right, we got farther than I thought we would. Yeah, we got to wrap this up, don't we? Yep. Okay, so do we do we do a review or just close it and end the show? Uh, no. So let's see what the what the lineup is. So we've got the 2008 Szechuan Chicken Earthquake going against the Oklahoma City bombing is the next one. Uh, the- oh, hold on, hold on. So you're not confusing the audio listeners. What Anthony is reading is what is going, setting up to be round two. We still have a lot of round one to get through. Right, yeah. I just wanted to kind of review what's going on through round two. Um, Manila Massacre in 1945 uh, versus the time that British guy ate my goddamn croissant. <laughs> and then the, the Fukushima earthquake versus the creation of Fortnite. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye.